everybody, where's your head? Man, I used that joke before. In my head, I was like, that's spontaneous. But no, human beings are not infallible creatures. Eden, streaking, it's going well. We start with Magic Fingers and Ipecac. So this is probably a win, not because of Magic Fingers so much, but because of Ipecac. Look at our range. Look at our range. Look at your husband. Look back to me. The husband is now diamonds. Oh my god, I murdered your husband and turned him into gems like some kind of supervillain. 3E6A2NJ9. Um, it's, it's a very strong start. Thunder Thighs probably helps, yes. We weren't particularly fast before, um, but we're going to be a lot slower now. But we're also going to be able to have... You know, one more hit of tolerance, basically. Which, it couldn't... Isn't that exactly what the world needs? Look, I'm I'm as into peace as anybody out there. I'm from a country that is uh, regarded as polite. Uh, whether or not that ends up being true, I have no idea. Are, are Canadians more polite than the average country? Beats me. But... Um, and you know, I, I'm, I'm into the idea of peace more so than the idea of war. I think if you ask me which one I would prefer, uh, I'd probably say peace most of the time, almost certainly. Um, but I was listening to the radio I was driving the other day, and uh, you know, John Lennon and Plastic Ono Band's Give Peace a Chance came on. You know, everybody's talking about salad, 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 and then he's all we are saying. Give peace a chance. And then, like, the outro is, like, 45 minutes long. And I was like, you know what? I I did. I gave give peace a chance a chance, and I decided it's not for me. Peace is still okay, but give peace a chance has been given its chance. It's not really my scene. Of course, I respect the work that he and the, uh, the Beatles and the Plastic Ono Band themselves have done as well in the past. But, uh, I don't know if that one's gonna take off. Um... There's not really too much to say about the, the contents of this run right now. It's pretty incredible. I would like some speed upgrades. We got a lot of bombs, we got a lot of consumables, we got a lot of good stuff. All we lack really is speed. Um, and all I am saying is give speed a chance. That one was a little bit better pitch wise than the earlier one. Excuse me. Uh, is this Curse of the Blind? It is Curse of the Lost, of course. Um, there are still ways that this run can go wrong. I mean, Ipecac is never, like, a known quantity. You could end up finding... I like just saying the phrase, known quantity. It makes me feel like I'm, uh, you know, like a military security or something like that. But, um, we could curse the blind ourselves into a soy milk, cricket's body, parasite, you know, my reflection sort of situation. It, we don't even need curse of the blind necessarily to do that. I mean, we could just, like pick it up and I'll be like this item's good but it doesn't actually you know get passed through the edge case in my brain where I'm like actually it sort of sucks when you have Ipecac so like we, we do have to concern ourselves slightly with that but you know barring barring those if we get a little bit of an increased rate of fire and some speed we're pretty much unkillable here chariot is okay is this not any kind of special secret room apparently not okay just looking for item room, looking for shop. I have to admit, you know, this this streak has started off with some considerable momentum. Like me as a as a young child on a toboggan. I was a little chunky, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You get a little it's just ma you know, momentum equals uh mass times velocity, man. It's it's science. Don't be mad at Isaac Newton. I was there. If we get our deal with the devil. I would actually, you know, what would be the best deal with the devil uh, within reason right now, like uh, not swinging completely for the fences. Um, something like Spirit of the Night, although Spirit of the Night scares me because I'm not sure if Spectral Tears with Ipecac are reliable. But uh, any ability to fly, I guess. But Spirit of the Night, you know, also comes with something else, so I'll take it. Uh, Lord of the Pit might come with a speed upgrade. It used to. I can't remember if it does anymore. Let's just see what we got going on here. A tinted rock. This is what I like to see. Of course, more DPS and HP upgrades would also be worthwhile, just so we don't have to uh, shoot Ipecac more often than is strictly necessary. The less we shoot it, the more likely we are to not accidentally hurt ourselves. Uh, range upgrade is okay, but we'll have to, you know, not not take too many of them. And Ghost Baby, not your ideal way to get precedent for a deal with the devil, I'd say. Would also like to point out twenty-one cents. Combined with uh, magic fingers, 
is actually pretty sweet with Ipecac. Like, we have a lot of damage going on here. Um, each hit of uh, Magic Fingers is going to do quite a lot of damage. Now, I don't really want to spend that money right now. We'll, we'll hit ourselves occasionally, so Fanny Pack seems like a reasonable choice. Well, that was a waste of everybody's time. Um, let's go find our item room. I was just checking doubly to make sure we haven't seen it. No, we started with Ipecac. We got uh, Thunder Thighs from our first item room. Blood Clot from our boss. Nothing from our second item room yet, which we will now not even be able to open because I kind of went a little bit too deep on that uh, on that golden chest there. Gotten a lot of golden chests so far. Okay, now we are back in the saddle again here with the key. Uh, we've had a lot of golden chests so far, which is kind of surprising. No Guppy's Tail, but uh, just a lot of opportunities there. Hopefully we haven't been this way. Good, okay. Well, this room is like one of the more annoying ones we could possibly face. I guess if we could get like a red candle or something like that, that would also be good, just so we have something to protect ourselves from up close, so situations like that happen less often. Alright, BBF is like the exact opposite of that, but uh, it, it fits our theme of uh, strong runs that are also dangerous to us, so let's uh, let's move along. Yeah, I figured we'd crack some of these pots. I mean, we spent a decent amount of money on, the, on this floor right here. It would be nice if we could actually purchase or pick up a little bit of extra cash. Not too worried about a bl uh, black market or anything like that, but let's just head down to our next floor. Alright, get some more coffee in this bloodstream. Flooded Caves, Curse of the Lost, making good time, and not interested in Stone Chest. Stone Chest is like... if you either, you either gotta be super strong, or you gotta be super desperate. To, to really want to do like a whole mob trap room for a stone chest. In my opinion, for me to want to do a, a an entire mob trap room for a stone chest. I gotta have like no keys or basically just kick the shit out of every enemy in two seconds. So GB bug is uh, not particularly good, but it's also, we got it for free, so that's fine. Um... We're not quite in either of those categories. We're kind of existing in the middle right now. Closer to the side of, of balling out of control. Ipecac by itself, I mean, let's not forget, it was like a year ago. More than a year ago, I think, but... I did beat the Lost without Holy Mantle having Ipecac. Ipecac is like one of those rare items in the game that can completely define it itself. You know, you'd, you'd, most people would probably rather have uh, the Pact. I think, than Ipecac because it's a little safer. Not me. I want to, you know, this is homemade TNT, and I'm going to use it to start building my own uh, finished basement. I, it might end up being a truly finished basement if I can check out any time, but I can never leave because the homemade TNT goes off in my face, but that's not the best metaphor I've ever made in my entire life. Hey, Iron Bar. Wait, we can do it better. Channel Sagat from Street Fighter. Iron Bar. Iron bar, something like that. It's not, <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm nailing Sagat's voice or maybe uh, accidentally uh, reinforcing a negative culturally accented stereotype, but uh, my, my heart's in the right place to begin with. Now, second secret room, been to our item room, haven't been to our shop. Admittedly, with every Curse of the Lost that we go through, um, I get a little bit closer to just saying, I don't give a fuck about the shop at all. And instead, uh, I just want to be out of this, you know, hall of mirrors as soon as is fucking possible. That was a great little bit of damage there. I can't even be mad, really. Got old bandage. And probably we should take the nail. It slows us down quite a lot when we take the nail. I forgot about that little part of it, but, uh... If you ignore that, uh, there's there's a lot to like here. It doesn't slow us down to pick it up. It just slows us down to be holding it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we could really use like a goat hoof or something like that. That would that would take this shit to the next level for sure. It's sad when you're relying on an item like the goat hoof to do it. By the way, I would love to have gotten any of those uh, items. The ability to fly was also super valuable, but I feel like... With our speed being so low, maneuverability, maneuverability is very valuable. However, um, raw HP might be like a little bit more. A little bit more valuable, that is. 
How are you not dead? Okay, at least we got a spirit art for our trouble there. But still, we're gonna need to crank up our speed, which is why I'm gonna take this pill. Thank you for not being a speed down. Okay, the cancer item, I don't know. Maybe it's not horrible. Buy this, buy the pill, could be a speed upgrade. It's actually a telepills. Not interested, okay, uh, you know what? Let's pick this up. Might as well just crank it like while we're in here because we'd rather just get the HP without worrying about the speed negatives, but uh, um, I don't know. This runs, it's starting to scare me, but it scares me in like a good way. I'm not scared because we are not going to be strong enough to like hit enemies and, and kill them quickly. I'm scared because I might not be fast enough to avoid getting hit by like any enemy that can rush us down, which is a pretty bad sign. But uh, we have we have positives here. Literally, we are totally set, except for the fact that our speed stat is uh, is not very good right now. Yeah, but that is a little bit like saying, you know, I could totally be a male model if I didn't have like a second nose directly in the center of my forehead. Like it's a it's a pretty big limiting factor right now. I'm not saying that that should be the standard of beauty. I love you, you double nosed freaks. However, um, you know, it's it's all politics. In the fashion industry, I know because I spent many a year there working as a fluffer um, for Giorgio Armani. Not for himself. That's that's a six-figure job. I was, you know, just I was a fluffer for his fluffer to make sure his fluffer didn't get bored. It's all politics, man. So I'm kind of tempted to use the chariot card. Please don't be. Oh, it's telepills again. Good lord. What, did we get like another range upgrade recently? I know we had um, blood clot, but it seems like our shots are just hanging in the air forever. Addicted. Uh, not not too bad. I'm just gonna take this right now. I know it's kind of bad practice, but uh, I want these spirit arts to stack up, and I'm a little bit lazy about the whole situation to begin with as well. Which is not an ideal to to aspire to, but it is what it is right now. With Ipecac, you can't afford to be a little lazy as long as you uh, aren't absurdly unlucky, I think. Okay, we're done with this room. It sounds like there was a key drop. Should be cracking into mushrooms here as well. But I'm, I'm just waiting for like a speed upgrade pill to show up and, and make my life better. Tears up. Okay, I mean, normally, like 10 times out of 10, you'd rather have this. Unfortunately, this is one of the ones that is, uh, one of those fringe cases that's kind of betrayed by the statistics. Maybe like 97 times out of 100 you want, um, tears up over speed up. This is in that 3% of situations. Okay, an eternal heart. We have no real reason to aspire to simply sticking to, uh, uh, to blue hearts right now. At least for right now, so we might as well... Uh, take uh, the eternal heart. We got another spirit heart there as well, and we got another two spirit hearts here too. Kind of wish that maybe this floor happened last floor, so that I could have taken the ability to fly as well. But I guess let's not be too salty about it. Just keep, you know, playing it close to your chest, but also absurdly far away from your chest. You know, what kind of zany Isaac player would I be? If I didn't take Curse of the Tower on an Ipecac run. Because the thing you have to learn about these episodes is no matter how much I say, like, oh, I hope we get a speed upgrade so we don't die. What I mean in my head is actually, it'd be really nice if they gave us a speed upgrade, but I'm going to take whatever bullshit they give me anyway, unless it's like Tiny Planet. So, prepare yourself for that. Prepare yourself for frustration. If, if you were looking for strictly perfect plays here. Yo, Silkworm is a little ridiculous, honestly. That was the worst battery charge I possibly could have used there, but we're so close to full HP, it's unlikely to matter much. But that's that's bad fundamental play, without a doubt. Figured we had to go with the, uh, with the Cancer Trinket. Liberty Cap is fine, and uh, on some rooms could actually give us HP, or not HP, but speed. Uh, but it's it's not the right call for us at the present moment in our lives. Wow, we totally whiffed there. But came out all right. Okay. I was just getting a little paranoid because, like, the lights flickered in my room. And I was like, oh, is, is our power going to go out? Our power's never gone out here. Probably, like, once a week the lights flicker to the point where I'm like... 
I get, like, paranoid. Like, is the power company trying to send me a message? Roid Rage. This is a speed upgrade. This is good. And then I go, I go check my power bill, and I'm like, yeah, I paid that. But it's, you know, every, every time, I'm like, what, what do these fuckers want with me? I gotta start living off the grid. Too bad, like, all of my activities require electricity to, to you know, exist. Oh, well. I'll make my own grid. There you go. I know you want me to say with blackjack and hookers, but mostly it's just about the electricity. I'm just in it for the sport of it. Um, okay. We... I'm gonna take champion belts over BFF for, like, the first time in a year. And I'm gonna buy this, and I hoped it would be a Joker card. It was not. That's okay. We're actually at the point now where we're going slower than you would expect to have to go. Tomo, you want in, buddy? The speed upgrade is so nice. But we're going slower than you would have to go to be comf uh, comfortable th about getting to boss rush, which is funny considering how powerful we started as. Um, okay, let's open up the door, and then we'll go down. Hey, Tomo. What's up, buddy? It's, it's very flattering to have a pet because, you know, even when you're not, like, doing anything, I'm just sitting here playing Isaac. It's like, I have to be there. I've got serious fear of missing out right now. Tomo! You're very talkative right now. Tomo doesn't normally speak too much. How you doing, buddy? Nothing? You, you're done? Tomo! He's thinking about it. You know how cats is and all that. Three of the same champion. Also, like, one of the most annoying champions. Also, one of the most annoying enemies. I'm not complaining too hard about my lot in life right now, but that was... I'm just... It's its statistically interesting how disproportionately unlucky we could have gotten there. Hmm. Oh, I forgot. I was relying on that skull to dampen some of my momentum. At least we got a black heart back from it. Okay, two keys. We got a golden key, so it doesn't matter. Uh, a five room basically requires us to say we're absolutely not doing boss rush, and the amount of time it takes us to... Finish this run is irrelevant. Uh, I think that both of those conditions are fulfilled right now. I'm already a little slower than I'd like to be, probably because my speed stat has been pretty poor. Um, bad odd mushrooms, okay. So, I think that it's maybe sensible, but we'll try to hit up all of our rooms before we do that, just so we can get, you know, maximum value out of this floor. Tomo, what's up, buddy? What is our card again? Chariot? I think we're better off, man. Uh, the Hanged Man is much less likely to be useful, actually, now that I think about it. Because we can already crush any rocks that block our way. And we have 40 bombs, even if we couldn't. Lots of, lots of reasons. This is one of those rare situations in which I really do think it's better to use the nail uh, upon finishing a room, as opposed to when you start your next room. Exclusively because our speed is going to be so bad with it that um, it, it's, it's almost prohibitive. We're just using it for the Spirit Heart. Tomo, buddy! You're not, you're not really supposed to be on top of the garbage can. I mean, there's no strict rules against it, but it's because we never really considered that, uh, you know, you'd want to be up there. What, what are you doing? Now you want to leave? You can, you might be able to hear that. Tomo, you may, you may go. He's conquered this room. He's made the garbage can his own. And, uh, it is now time for him to move on. Goodbye, stranger. It's been nice. Do you have any toy mice? It's uh, a little bit of a deep cut there, but sort of got the job done. I thought it got the job. I, you know, that reference was for me. I'm not even a particularly big Super Tramp fan, but apparently my only window into um, modern society is classic rock radio while driving. And I'm like, if I know one out of two songs. Then, then I'm into it. I'm interested, you know, classic rock radio hasn't changed that much in, in North America. Is this an XL floor? It is an XL floor. Oh, we could totally do boss rush then. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll get a teleport card or something. But, um, I wonder if classic rock radio, if you live in, like, the United States, is classic rock radio different? Like, do you ever hear, um, April Wine, Ooh, What a Night? That's not like, oh, what a night. That's the one that's like, banana, banana, ooh, what a night. Everything will be all right. Uh, come on, come on, love me tonight. I'll be yours till the sun comes up again. You know, that's 
That's a staple in Canada. I've lived in, well, I've lived in a few different Canadian cities. Ooh, What a Night by April Wine. At least once every three songs it's played. I've never heard of April Wine from anybody that is not Canadian. But it's, you know, I, I don't know, maybe you guys are exclusively hearing, like, the Joker by the Steve Miller Band or something. Um, okay, let's crack this. Maybe there'll be a tele teleport card, maybe there won't. So far, it's not looking great. If we choose to fight Mom, we can no longer go back for the five room. Excuse me, is this a cat trying to get into my room again? That was not a good place to stand. Uh, and I have broken my rule about the nail, and it did work out, but... Not necessarily thrilled about it. That's not a Tomo. Okay. Uh, I think we are going to ignore the five room and just kind of push ahead here. And then if boss rush is good enough, that's awesome. If not, you know, so be it. We would have gotten like an extra two item rooms out of it. Uh, and, and one more shop as well. But I'm, I'm ready to be moving on to the next phase of this run. We know we're not going to get a speed upgrade from mom here, but... I would actually do boss rush for a single speed upgrade, I think. And I hate that I've already committed to that, because now if we just go in there and there's like the fucking wooden spoon or something... I've, I've got to do it because I want to be a man of my word, but because I shouldn't have said it if I didn't uh, if I didn't believe it. We take the Polaroid, fight Krampus. Uh, good time to get a lump of coal. Help. And it is not lump of coal, but that's all right. I think we still did okay there. Maybe there will be skulls in our boss rush room that we can crack and get a teleport card. Book of Shadows, Mongo Baby. Uh, I think neither of those are really worth it. Book of Shadows is pretty good. Mongo Baby's pretty good, but not in the same way. Alright, Curse of Darkness. I think I've given up on trying to find random pills there that, that are also speed upgrades. I also wonder if you're working like classic rock radio. It, it, it's different because as as a kid, you're like, well, when I when it becomes the year 2015, is classic rock gonna be from like the 1990s? And that the answer is not necessarily no. You know, there's some classic rock stations that will play like you know, Black Era Pearl Jam and Nirvana and stuff like that. But classic rock is just it's a format. It's like a sellable genre format of um, of radio. But, I also wonder sometimes where they draw the line. Because, like, our classic rock radio station here in in Vancouver, it'll play, uh... Ooh, 48 hour energy is okay. It'll play, like, you know, Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf. Made, made famous, of course, in the 2002 film Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me. Um, but, uh, they'll also play, like, Build You Up Buttercup. You know, why do you build me a build me a buttercup, etc., etc. Don't really fit in the same genre. And then they'll play like Pat Benatar, "Hit Me with Your Best Shot." You know, I, I don't. It doesn't really fit the mold of classic rock, in my opinion. I'm not saying it's a bad song. It's a great song to warm up if you've got a bowling tournament or something. It's that and "Great Balls of Fire" every time. But um, I don't know. There's there's got to be like a conference every year, right? Of of like classic rock. Uh, Radio format arbiters who are like, is Our Lady Pieces Navid classic rock radio? All in favor say, aye, 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 aye. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. You ought to know by now. It's, I'm not sure if that was Billy Joel or the Nax My Sharona, but anyway, sweet. The next My Sharona. This is kind of a boring run right now, uh, and I don't, you know, again, I hope that you you trust me enough that if I tell you a run is not boring, I'm being honest, because if a run is boring, I'll, I'll tell you, like, straight up. It's not to say it's a bad run, like, it is really fun to basically put your cursor on an enemy or, you know, just shoot in the direction of an enemy and just blow them up in, like, two seconds, but we are bereft of, of strange synergies right now. The only strange synergy we have is, uh is Curse of the Tower, and I inflicted that on myself, basically. And by basically, I mean 100%. Like, there was no... I would not have taken it, were it not for the fact that, uh... That it was kind of funny. You know, in a way, if an item is bad, I'm not gonna take it unless it's fucking horrible. And that's that's my ethos in life. Is, is If something's just a little bad, no way. Like, who wants to eat, like, 
a, a day old, you know, it's been left out there like a fucking soup or something like that. I left the, oh, I left the soup in the bowl. Do you want to eat it? No, that's just, that's not going to be good. But if someone was like, hey, they're selling shit flavored soup at the, the, the you know, bakery across the street. You want to try it out of curiosity? I w I'm not saying I would, but I'm saying I would be more likely to. Like, if you know something's going to be just trying to be good but suck, what's the point? If something is, um, outrageously trying to be like over the top bad you gotta try it and be like oh I gotta you know refine my palate see what the hell's going on with this they're making a shit flavored sundae or soup whatever I said shit salad I'm not gonna pick it up you know we, we already have the first piece of the eternal heart the first piece of the eternal heart is where the magic happens it's not like we're gonna lose this much HP on this floor and uh, I'd be very surprised if we ended up playing a blood bank because we pretty much have no desire to. I guess uh, IV bag would be a nice pickup, but apart from that, like, what are who are we trying to impress with that? So in a way, I'm a little disappointed, just because there's, uh, you know, we we should have had other opportunities to make this run uh, exciting. But I mean, I guess maybe the five room is the closest we came. Absolutely not afraid to walk over this right here, because you know, got so many charges. Might as well at least see if there's like a Guppy's head or Tammy's head or something in that chest. Uh, Fanny Pack gave us a key, I guess, which is, again, largely irrelevant. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really interested in fighting Hush on this run. We fought him a couple times uh, in recent succession, or in quick succession recently. Um, don't want to get my successions mixed up. I did play Crusader Kings, after all. And read a, like 30% of Norman Cantor's, uh, you know, Life in the Middle Ages. I mean, th that's still like 500 pages. It's 500 pages of really relatable, interesting reading about the Middle Ages. But sometimes the human brain just goes, just turn on Twitter for a second. You're going to get a lot more stimulus in like uh, a, a fraction of the time. I'm sorry, Norman Cantor. But it's it's the goddamn truth. And there we go. Just run. I can't believe I got hit in their dying animation. Let's be honest, I totally can believe that. All of a sudden, not 100% as confident as I used to be on HP, but not really concerned about it either. Uh, honestly, I may get to the point where I bomb my way through some of the cathedral rooms, just because I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the danger to show up on this run, and it hasn't existed yet. Uh, okay, we, we don't need speed so much on this room, so I'd rather have the damage bonus from the nail. It was a bit of a ballsy dodge. We got in there, though. This is going to be one of the ones where if this streak ever hits, like, you know, 50, people are going to be like, I don't remember this one at all. Oh, that's the one where he started with Ipecac and just sort of had, like, an okay run for the whole time, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens on the chest. It's possible it'll get mixed up. But, uh, to be honest with you, a, a safe but... Semi-fun, boring run is totally okay by me uh, over, you know, starting with one HP and possibly fucking your whole life up. Do we take nine lives? Yeah, of course we take nine lives. Just just mix it up a little bit. Get up before the bombs explode. What the hell, man? I keep hearing a cat sneeze, but it's not... There's no cat at my door, and it's freaking me the fuck out. What's the play? Well, I feel like I probably shouldn't be actually fighting on this room, but old habits die hard. I'm not a huge fan of, of bombing my way out of rooms. Not out of any, like, high-minded moral ideal, but rather because it means that uh, if you end up having to go back, you have to bomb your way through it again. So, you know, I think it is better to just finish it off in one if you can do it. Or finish it off once and for all, I mean to say, if you can do it. Not always possible, I guess. Uh, not interested in that. HP is, has dwindled quite a lot. Look at how fast these fuckers are. There's nothing I can do. Now this room, I just not should not have gone to. We'll take this, pop it again. Unnecessary. Um, I'm hoping my my lackadaisical attitude towards this stuff doesn't come back and bite me in the ass, but it it may well. I do think we should have a pretty easy time beating Isaac. But we do have to get there first. 
Now well, there's several dead ends to start with. War's no joke. But as long as these bombs are away from me, and it's not like a champion version of war, then I'm not too concerned. Champion war is going to be the worst. You know what? You, you did it, man. Champion war is going to be the worst because of uh, the troll bombs. Okay, let's, let's try out the strategy I was afraid to employ. I hate this. Holy shit. How did I not get hit there? Those bomb flies continue to be like the worst enemy. I guess the other problem with bombing our way uh, through rooms is that we don't get uh, any charges on the nail. So we should really do easy rooms. Especially rooms that'll finish quickly and not give me much of a chance to get hit. Um, like this room, for example. Uh, at least, you know, generate one or two extra spirit arts. That could make all the difference. I don't like doing this room. Uh, I will definitely fight an enemy that is easy to kill and will give me a spirit heart on death. That is an obvious one. Alright, starting to build that economy back up. This is good. Oftentimes, Tinted Rock here, but it doesn't seem like it. I actually think we save the Chariot card. And I know we've been saving this Chariot card. Chariot cards are normally not that valuable. But I think we save this Chariot card and end up uh, maybe dropping it. That's bad. Well, w worst case scenario, we save it for the uh, Blue Baby fight and we drop it there. But, I think maybe we drop it on a room that is borderline impossible to avoid with low HP. Or sorry, with low speed, which is, uh... We, we've had several kinds of those rooms so far that I probably should have taken advantage of already, if possible, but, uh... We do need a little bit... Of, of help on rooms maybe like, you know, Double Gate or something like that, for example. If we somehow get Dad's Key, um... Probably not really going to be interested in fighting Mega Satan, just because <laughs> this run leaves a little bit to be desired. Watch me get like four speed upgrades on the chest. Three speed upgrades and Epic Fetus, thus rendering the speed upgrades irrelevant. On the chest. Rubber Cement. Rosary. Scapular. Cricket's Body. That's what you get for asking for a... Uh, for a zany run. Now, we got two items that are certainly going to make things more interesting with Ipecac. Why take it? That's just the, that's the guy, that's the kind of guy I want to be. That's what I mean to say. Um, it means if we, if we take a lot of damage, we may end up trying to beat Blue Baby with just our cube of meat. This is like the mu the run has fucked me, and I mean this in the nicest way possible. Because I, I could have just avoided those items that are going to be dangerous for me. But, the run fucked me by uh, making it boring for long enough that when these two items showed up that I was like, I really should not take these, I had to take them. In my brain, I was like, you got no other options. Oh my god, we're hemorrhaging HP so quickly. Where are... Can we just talk about... The sheer number of bombs that have showed up. The bombs never stopped, man. Brother Bobby. Um, okay. But, so by the time I got to, uh... I got to this point, I was like, we gotta be popping, uh... Rubber Cement Cricket's body. Otherwise, it doesn't really count as a run, you know? Yo, Little Horn, just fart right off, mister. A little bit of a close call there. Can't really afford to use... Um, what? Oh, I shot it right next to the wall. Well, we know that's a dead end anyway. Well, no, it's not. It could go down, so we gotta try that. I may have just fucked myself and the streak a little bit, but I stuck to my principles. And I admire that because it's gonna make this run way more interesting than it was like five seconds ago. Help. I didn't think this guy could sneak down here. Alright, Ruka, you want to be my good luck charm? You want to be my lucky star? Okay. Come on in, buddy. Hello? Hello? Enter. Why? Cats! You're always leaving your body wedged in the door. You can't do that. You ever hear the expression, you know, whenever one door closes, another one opens? It doesn't work 
if you if you don't let the other door close. Then the uh, one door stays half open, another door half opens. It's not how that expression works. You know, you, you can't go to school to be a doctor and be, you know, president of the United States and be like a, you know, pop singer at the same time. I'm sorry to shit on your dreams like that. It's just not how the world works. Oh, now Tomo wants in too? Whenever one door half opens, you gotta open the other door a half open uh, two seconds later because somebody else wants to get in. Alright, we may get hit on this room. We're, we're gonna get hit probably on this room a couple of times. But, we found our boss fight, so that's big. Oh my god. Cats are going- Ape shit! No! This is okay, this is okay. It may not be okay, but it may be okay. Basically, any anytime we're safe, I'm dropping an Ipecac shot. Oh my fucking god. We could use the chariot, but I really want to save it so that we can put the, the so we can guarantee ourselves a win on the uh, on the blue baby fight. Okay, one is dead, and it's the one that chases us down. So now we actually have an advantage we've never had before, which is time. You know, the ability to have some patience here. I've been walking the streets at night. Just trying to get it right, and I need you. That is not played on classic rock yet. One of these days, man. Hi, you we lived. Okay. Pretty much put our uh, put our faith in RNG Jesus there, and it worked out. So we're just gonna try to play it a little close here. Like one more hit. Okay, now we pop the chariot. And we're going to finish this. Okay. Never a doubt in my mind. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.